I mean, the obvious one with bifold doors is it just opens the space up completely. I mean, obviously glazing in any house connects with the outside. Obviously, that's why it's there. But to be able to kind of fold away all the frames off to one side or two sides and get a clear expanse of space out of the garden, it's amazing for entertaining. You know, there's nothing better for me in the summer that when you open bifold doors and you've got that seamless transition between inside and outside. It's incredible, really. Sliders, I mean, I've got sliding doors on my garden studio in London, uh, two big panels of it, and it works really well because you don't have the bifold doors sticking out, which on my project would have been a bit of an issue. Um, a lot of houses, it's not a problem. You know, you can have the doors sticking out or sticking in. Um, but for my garden studio, I've got a lot of things either side of it, and the bifolds would have looked fantastic, but functionally, they weren't the right product for the way that I used the space and I had it laid out. Because uh, it was a garden studio as well, it's not enormous, so bifolds might have got in the way of furniture and other bits that I've got in there. So the sliders are a bit more minimal. You've got fewer frames, and I've got one big glass door that slides over the other one seamlessly, and that glass door becomes the space where you walk in to the rest of the room. And it's it just, there's pros and cons with all of them. You know, people will say to me, should I have bifold doors or sliders? And I've got to say, well, let me see your house. Let me see how you live. Let me see what room it's for. If it's a living room or a kitchen or a dining area, it's, it's potentially going to be different. There's no hard and fast rule about what's right and wrong. And you've got to sit there with the plans and go, okay, bifolds could do this. What effect's that going to have on the layout and the plan? Sliding doors could do that. What sort of effect that's going to have? So I, I design loads of houses. And I would say, off the top of my head, it's probably even 50-50 between bifolds and sliders. Bifolds might just tip it a little bit when I'm doing lots of kitchen dining areas because they really want those spaces to open out. But it's probably 50-50 between the two.